Coke Zero, now more delicious. Woohoo! We are on a lunch break. Um, the excavator is gone. Dozer is here. Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim. Today on Ramblings, getting it done on the ridge. That's right, guys. The uh, excavator did all its all it could, getting everything cleared up. I wish I would have gotten a few more trees taken off on this corner over here, but that was my fault, not Josh's. Uh, he did exactly what I told him to do, and <laughs> and then later on I walked everything out and thought, oops, probably should have taken a little more off on that side. But what he's doing today is uh, leveling out the house pad, okay? Uh, I say pad, it's actually where the uh, block foundation is going to go in the footer. And it doesn't have to be exactly level because it is going to be a block foundation. But I want it pretty level, and I don't want I don't want any land higher than the house, right? Uh, I don't want any swales. I don't want any water issues. Have to divert water. I want the house to be at the top, and then we'll cut down everything around it. Now, on the back side over there is going to be the solar carport, and then behind that, uh, to the right, is going to be the uh, power shed, the powerhouse. So everything is looking great. He's been pushing this dirt down in, in the hole over there. In setting up the flags, I don't know if you can see the flags, in setting up the flags, we did have a little issue. I was using my phone, uh, the compass on my phone. And I said, because all my solar's got to be facing due south, so running east and west. And uh, thought I had it set up right. Uh, apparently not, because... We were uh, get we got the long tape measure and we we're doing you know 50 feet this way, 50 feet this way, and just all this that and the other, and it wasn't working out. So I went and got my handy dandy Boy Scout compass. This is the compass. Uh, whenever my oldest son Tyler, he's in his 30s, was a Boy Scout. Uh, this is not mine from when I was a Boy Scout, obviously, um, but this is one from whenever he was a Boy Scout. I've been keeping it in my backpack for hunting forever, just in case you ever get lost or something your, and your phone dies. But um, got this out, and uh, we figured out what true north, true east, true south, and true west is, and got the flags put out. So ever since then, he's been cutting down, smoothing out. We got about a, a two-foot fall from the top to the uh, where the corner of the carport is, about two foot. He's gonna try to just drag that over, drag that over. I'm okay with about a foot drop from the corner of the house to the other side of the house and another, you know, a uh, few inches, you know, it, it, it depends, you know, over to the side over there. But one thing we had to do, guys, is use some math. And uh, you're like, Tim, now nah, you just tape measure it out. No, no, no. I wanted to know the, the, exactly the corner to corner length that should be. You know, if you got 40 by 40 or 50 by 50 uh, and you got a square, you cut the, the, the half, the square and half, that creates two triangles. Those two triangles um, have equal sides, uh, both on the A and B side. That would be an isosceles triangle, uh, two sides of the same length. That long side is called the, called the hypotenuse. Remember this, guys? Woo! Dragging it out from school here. Uh, the hypotenuse, the long side. Okay, so 90 degree angle, isosceles triangle, uh, you do some Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and you figure out exactly how long that hypotenuse is. And that's what we did. Um, I did verify though. I called my son Morgan, who's uh, in civil engineering school out there at Mississippi State. He does this for a living. And um, I said, hey, uh, Morgan, 40 by 40, 50 by 50, what's the, the, the long side length? And he went, uh, well, it's A squared equals C squared equals C squared. Yeah, I said, but just tell me the number. And we, were, we went back and forth. We, we, we came to an agreement what that number is. So we got it all diagonally and diagonally and propagandally uh, and rectangly and got it all that uh, straightened out. And I think we're pretty happy. I think we're pretty happy. So the, uh, the house is 40 by 40. We gave a little area around it so, so the, the, it can be built up you know, a little bit so the rain doesn't get there. The carport is, um, is uh, 40 foot long, or eight, eight, uh, 38 feet long by 16 feet deep. And that's the columns, right? Uh, the pa panels are going to stick out a little bit further. So about 40 by, by 20, uh, 40 by 18. Uh, so we, we got that set up on the, the, the north side there, perfectly set so it gets that southerly sun the entire time. We got all the trees cleared so you can see the uh, morning sun and the evening sun. All that's working out perfectly. And uh, again, you're going to get to see, excuse me, you're going to see all of this on Ridge Life very soon. Uh, I'll have the, uh, 
the second excavator video out uh, coming up, and uh, you're going to really enjoy that. Of course, you know these videos, I'll filter these out to you. Uh, but here on Ramblings, you get you get the scoop. So use some trigonometry, some uh, uh, geometry, got that all figured out, and uh, hopefully you guys have seen my community post on uh, YouTube on Ridge Life. I posted that. We are ready to name the bees. Uh, yesterday, I put a beekeeping video out, and um, a lot of y'all didn't watch it. It's, um, uh, I got stung. I got stung twice. And we checked on the swarm, and we also checked to see if the other ones were making honey. I got stung twice. Uh, you get to actually, do you see? You, yeah, I screamed like a little baby. Uh, but a lot of you didn't watch it. I guess a lot of you don't like beekeeping. And I was talking to David about this, and he said, Tim, you really need to approach your beekeeping as in just another uh, livestock and he was I don't make a video just on the goats if I do it doesn't do well um, I try to integrate the livestock into the homesteading uh, aspect and uh, do, do an integration video you know with multiple aspects of homesteading so I really need to do that with beekeeping if, if, if most of y'all don't want to see just beekeeping videos I'll, I'll integrate some chickens and some uh, some work and some stuff like that so uh, yeah um, going to be naming the bees. I put a poll on Ridge Life. You guys have selected which names you like. It was uh, fire station bees, uh, firehouse bees, station number one bees, fireball bees, and uh, that was the, the most uh, predominantly uh, uh, liked names. I think that might have been you know, four or five. And uh, I put those out to the members, a member-only poll, for them to decide which name to use for that new swarm. And uh, so Tuesday, on Tuesday Night's Live at 7 p.m. Central, uh, I'll announce what that name is, what the members chose, and then I'll do a honey giveaway because this week, uh, if I can, if the weather plays, I'll plan on getting those honey supers off and uh, uh, Jin Jin comes over and we can start extracting some of the honey. And then uh, we're going to give away some honey on Tuesday Night Live. So even if you don't like watching beekeeping, I'll bet you like some free honey, huh? Ooh, good. Timofa honey. Spring clover honey. It's going to be the best honey you ever had. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. Um, so that's uh, coming out. Um, <laughs> talking to David also, we had a little funny about the, um, uh, the work life. Hashtag no work life, hashtag work life. And I said, yeah, Dave, I told everybody I stole your mojo. You know, uh, all you're doing is going on adventures now like I used to do, and I'm getting all the work done here on Ridge Life because I stole your mojo. I found out that uh, the only thing that makes you, uh, goes for, for, from hashtag work life to hashtag no work life is your coffee, your work life coffee. And now that I'm drinking it, ooh, I'm on the work life now. And uh, David's just going on adventures. <laughs> He thought that was funny. He thought that was funny. Uh, so yeah, go check out Work Life Coffee. Uh, I left uh, links in the descriptions and you can find it on YouTube. And they actually sell uh, the ground on Amazon. I put a link on Amazon over there on that video. I might put it on this video too if I think about it. Um, so uh, and again, I talked to Caleb, the, the marketing guy from Work Life Coffee. He gets a small company, uh, Texas bred uh, owners, uh, veteran owned. Um, Caleb said that uh, he liked the video so much of me talking about David and the uh, stealing his mojo and everything that he's going to show the owners the video. And I was like, yeah, show the owners. Send me some more coffee. I'm not a paid sponsor. Uh, I just uh, I just drinking their coffee, okay? Uh, the tree mountain over there is starting to uh, is starting to compress a little bit. It it's 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 not a tree skyscraper anymore, uh, it, but it's still a tree mountain. It's de definitely not a tree hill. It's Definitely a tree mountain, uh, but it was towering over everything. Now it's starting to compress. Um, and the valley behind us, uh, Josh is really starting to smooth that valley off. So my backyard is going to be a real nice, beautiful slope down. I think that's going to be gorgeous. Um, let's see. The dozer is doing good. We haven't had any issues. We haven't uh, uh, shattered anything. We haven't busted any hoses. We haven't knocked it out of commission or anything like that. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to watch some Ridge Life videos coming out soon. Woo! We had some issues with the excavator. Woo uh, that was some crazy stuff. Um, yesterday, we actually had the dozer delivered yesterday and uh, didn't get any work done. Uh, I forgot to drink my coffee. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the Josh had to go do it. They took the excavator away, brought the dozer, and then Josh had to go do another job. Uh, cut a power line so they could bring uh, power to a job site, and that had to take precedent. 
uh, precedence. And uh, so he left there. So what I did is took advantage and Grandma Carol got some new, uh, uh, new couch off Marketplace and uh, she wanted to give her old couch, which is still really good condition, to my son Tyler up in Dyersburg. So we, uh, me and my Uncle Sonny and my grandma, and grandma Carol loaded that up onto a trailer. I didn't have to lift or carry very much. Took it up to Dyersburg and uh, gave that to my son Tyler. He was there. Haley was at work. Got to see Sophia. That was nice. And um, then we sw uh, took his, put it on the trailer, and then uh, me and Grandma Carol went and uh, took that to the dump, got rid of it. Uh, the, the, got to meet the guy at the dump uh, there in Dyersburg, real nice guy, and gave me some, gave me some, gave me a hand. Um, appreciate you, uh, Mr. Dump guy. And uh, we went to uh, ate a really nice meal. Called my daughter Alyssa. You know she's pregnant with a baby Jarrett, and uh, we also she also had Adelie, my granddaughter. They came up, and Morgan's home from college, so he he came up there, and we had. An Italian uh, meal, Mustos in Dyersburg, really you know nice uh, Italian restaurant, and I had some baked lasagna. Grandma Carol had baked lasagna. Morgan had um, toasted ravioli and potato soup. Alyssa had potato soup and salad, unlimited salad, potato soup. Uh, Adelie had toasted ravioli. I had an, uh, an Italian sampler. Had mozzarella cheese sticks, stuffed mushrooms. Uh, toasted ravioli and marinara sauce and oh, and then the bread and their garlic butter you know, sauce was so good. Anyway, we, we got our bellies full, had a lot to take home. Probably gonna have that for uh, uh, lunch or dinner another day. Um, matter of fact, me, we were so full when we got home, uh, uh, me and Grandma Carol had bologna sandwiches for supper. <laughs> but we ate separately. We both called and said, hey, we're too full to have any big meal. Uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and eat. And we end up finding out we both ate bologna sandwiches. <laughs> Didn't even know it. Um, so it was really good to get to see, uh, the, uh, the, the kids. Uh, Adelie was just as sweet as she could be. And a handful though. Oh my goodness. That girl's a handful. Um, Alyssa's pregnant. And of course I got to feel her big old, her, her belly and the baby, uh, kicking and stuff, push, pushing on her. And that was, that was cool. I got to see Tyler and Sophia and, and Haley and Morgan and uh, really got to spend some good time. That was really, really nice. So came back today and met Josh up here bright and early. Got a little rain this morning. Yeah, we had a rain uh, come through just a little bit in the morning, but so far it has held off. We've been lucky. We've been real lucky with uh, the rain holding off. Um, not really sure, uh, you know, again, Josh went to lunch. Uh, he'll be back shortly to finish up and uh, hopefully we can get this leveled out here and everything looks really good. Um, let's see. Once I get this leveled out, uh, the next thing is to get the uh, foundation uh, guy. Um, trying to try to use the same one we used on Grandma Carol's. Uh, if he, he, I think he may have retired, but he he may be able to give me somebody that uh, he trusts uh, to come out, get the found, look where the foundation is going to be, and start getting that going. I need my drawings from Honest Day Blog Home so I can give to him to know exactly where. Uh, the footer needs to be in the depth and all that stuff. Uh, I need to get the septic guy out here once the foundation, uh, you know, the layout is put down so they can uh, give me an estimate on how much it's going to cost to get over to the uh, the field lines that, you know, Kayla set up for me from the state. And then, of course, uh, that septic, well on the other side, got to get the well guy out here. Same, we're going to use the same people that we used for Grandma Carol's log home, so we already vetted them. And uh, then I got to order the solar carport, get that ordered from Signature Solar. And then I got to go up to um, um, uh, Southern Outdoor Specialist and order my shed house from the powerhouse. So lots of things going on still here on the ridge um, coming up. Uh, a lot of uh, quotes and planning and orders. And of course, as we're doing that, uh, we'll be getting uh, more, more work done here on the line. Uh, the driveway still got to be done. He's going to mark out my drive. We've already smoothed it out. He's going to create the, the, the ditches on either side and get it crowned up. Then, of course, and get all that uh, $20,000 worth of uh, gravel brought in. Oh, my goodness. Um, so far, I've got two full days, just, to, you know, in, in two full days of excavator, excavators, about four or $5,000 at uh, $200 an hour. Uh, today's the first day of the dozer. Dozer is $175. We're looking about three days on the dozer, I'm thinking. And uh, of course, uh, getting the, the, you know, that's including the, the, the getting the driveway done and everything. And then of course, fifteen twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for the gravel. I'm gonna give you cost and uh, breakdowns on all this stuff. And then when we get to points, I'll do a compilation video showing you, uh, you know, 
everything about it, how much it costs for each step and boom. And then we'll, we'll do, do it in phases, right? And then of course, when I get done with the barn dominium, we'll do a complete time-lapse of how all that turned out. But once we get to, you know, the land prepared to start building, I'll probably give you an update video uh, time-lapse on that as well. Um, let's see here. Uh, going live on Tuesday. Oh, Jen Jen coming down. Hopefully we can get the honey spun. Uh, spun out. Um, weather, the weather's supposed to be rainy next week. Don't know if Josh is going to be able to come back ne next week. Cause again, I got, you know, at least two more days uh, uh, of work, uh, depending on weather. Uh, but we're going to get it done. There's, you know, it, it's moving way quicker now than it did before, huh? Um, but also he, he, he cleaned up that field where the barn's going to go. And that's the thing with all this stuff, even with the uh, delays, waiting for construction, waiting for equipment, I can start working on the barn, getting all the wood ordered for the barn and start getting the poles up. My knee's about ready for that. Um, I'll be going back to work soon, but I got enough vacation saved up and uh, the, the long summer days will allow me to come home and continue the work, I think. I do believe I hear Josh pulling up now, so it is about work 30. <laughs> He's going to get back to work and I'm going to let you go. So until next time, guys, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling and go Ridgeline.